this week's boiler tip, we're gonna follow up on the float thermostatic trap and let's talk about troubleshooting that style trap. Uh, firstly, if a trap is cold with the control valve open and all of our valves verified as open, there's a good chance that that trap has failed closed. So some people will assume that if a trap is hot that it's working correctly, but that trap could in fact actually be blowing through. So how can we tell if a trap is blowing through? Well, with a float and thermostatic, if the trap is working properly, it should always have a water level in the trap. Um, it's easy to look at this trap and see the water level. We don't have that benefit in the field. So we can actually use a temperature gun to tell that there is a water level inside the trap, which will tell us subsequently that it's not failed open. So what I'm going to do is take a temperature reading on the side of the trap, and what I should see is a higher temperature where there's steam inside the trap and a lower temperature where there's condensate in the trap. So we'll demonstrate that. What we see when we take that measurement is about a 30 degree difference between the portion of the trap that's filled with steam and the portion of the trap that's filled with condensate. Now, if we've got a heavy load on a trap, it may take a while for that trap to come up to temperature because the trap may actually be undersized on startup. But once we get up to an established running mode, um, we're, we should have steam in the top half, condensate in the bottom, and we should be able to see that difference with a temperature gun.